The story is about a girl named Mio Sasaki who is doing everything in her power to get the attention of her crush, Hinode. She's a complete crackhead, to be honest. While she's going about her day, she ends up getting transformed into a cat. And what happens next will have you by surprise. As the movie begins, it shows us a little girl walking around in what seems to be some kind of a festival with huge shadows of cats looking at her, wondering where she actually is. A huge cat then appears before her, asking her if she's lost. That's when we're introduced to Mio Sasaki, who happened to be having a dream as she's in a festival with her mom. She gets into an argument with her mother, a typical teenage behavior, who is apparently separated from Mio's father. She then leaves the festival and finds herself in front of the same cat she met in her dream. The cat offers to try one of the masks he has. The scene then shifts to a very pumped up Mio who is running towards her school. She meets her friend, Yori, and instantly lights up when she sees her crush, Hinode. Without thinking, she runs towards him and literally bumps her butt against Hinode and, to be honest, is a very bizarre way of greeting someone. Anyway, Hinode ignores her completely and proceeds to walk towards his class. Mio, however, is more than happy just to hear his sexy voice. During break time, Mio and Yori are seen to be eating some ice cream while Yori asks her about why she's so much into Hinode when he ignores her all the time. Mio then starts with her fantasy story about her and Hinode that's not even real. She then proceeds to get chastised by Yori after that. As Mio is walking towards home, she's approached by an old lady from the neighborhood who asks Mio if she's being properly taken care of by her new mother, making Mio all uncomfortable. Just then, Mio's stepmom appears, making the old lady leave awkwardly. Apparently, Mio seems to have a great relationship with her stepmom. After a short conversation with her stepmom, Mio goes to her room, revealing the mask that the fat cat offered to her. The scene then shifts to Hinode's house, where he's seen to look for his cat, Taro. There are too many cats in this movie, I swear. Taro then suddenly jumps onto him, making him roll down the street. When the sun is about to set, Taro is seen to be jumping from roof to roof and finally jumping up just to reveal herself as Mio, wearing a mask that Fat Cat gave to her. Honestly, that Fat Cat was shady from the start. Our Mio is no longer Mio, she's a Meow now. In another scene, Hinode is reminiscing about the day he met Taro. The scene shifts and we get to see the fat cat coming out of a vending machine which startles Mio, who is still in her meow form. Mio doesn't seem to be very fond of the fat cat and honestly, none of us are because of the shady vibe he gives. She's seen running from the fat cat as he wants her to embrace her cat life and throw away her human one. Then, Mio is seen running towards Hinode, trying to give him the usual sunrise attack with her butt. But this time, she fails and falls as Hinode moves away a little. Later, two guys are seen trash talking about Mio, which she totally ignores. But as their trash talking diverts to Hinode, Mio loses her temper and jumps off the bridge of the school defending Hinode. I gotta say, this girl is very gutsy. Or probably she thought she was a cat and took such a big risk. She even injured herself. Not so smart, Mio. Anyway, she's all up against those two boys and that's when Hinode enters, asking Mio if she's okay. Mio is at peace now. She completely ignores the boys who were trash talking about Hinode earlier and Mio could be seen having lunch with Hinode at the rooftop. As she's messing around on the rooftop after lunch, Hinode realizes that he could smell the same scent from her as Taro's. Well, of course Hinode, they're the same. Mio is back at her home after having the best time of her life with Hinode at school. But she's still not satisfied and wants to be with him more, so she just transforms into Taro and goes to see him. She sees Hinode upset about her mother closing off her grandpa's pottery house as it's getting tough for her to manage everything. Mio returns home without meeting him and is visibly upset. Mio then decides to visit Hinode again at night when he's at his grandpa's pottery house. He starts talking about the things that were upsetting him in front of Taro without realizing that it was Mio in his lap. Mio really wants to help him, but can't really do anything in her cat form. On her way home, Mio comes across the fatty again. You know who I'm talking about here. And just to be clear, there's 100% no offense about that nickname here. Anyway, he's still pestering her about staying a cat forever BS. Sick of the fatty, our Mio leaves. When she arrives at home, she eavesdrops on her father and stepmom talking about her sneaking out at night. 
Just then, Kaoru's cat jumps over her, making Mio give off her presence to her parents. Her parents ask her if she's been away from the house, but Mio tells them that she was only on the roof. The next day, it appears that our little Miao-chan didn't sleep well. Her strange behavior is noticed by Yori, and just then, Mio walks up to Hinode and hands him what seems like a letter. Two boys then appear and take away the letter from her, trying to bully her. The boys then proceed to read the cheesy contents of the letter. Hinode then takes away the letter from the boy and seems to be in a crappy mood. He lashes out on Mio because he feels embarrassed because of her cringy letter that the boy read in front of everyone else. He crushes away the letter, saying he hates Mio. Mio runs away while crying. Mio is depressed. She ends up running away from her home after lashing out on her parents. I swear, Mio is in her rebellious phase right now, like every other teenager. Meanwhile, Hinodi appears to be feeling a little guilty of behaving with Mio like that. Just then, Mio, in her meow form, appears in front of his window. Hinode dozes off with meow on his bed. When morning comes, the fatty appears in front of the window of Hinode. He knows Mio is vulnerable right now and manages to extract her human mask. He tells Mio that she can only turn back to a human if she wears her human mask again, but before she could completely turn into a cat. Way to go, Mio. The fatty then runs away. Meanwhile, at the school, Mio's parents ask Yori and Hinode where Mio could be, as she hadn't come home last night after running away. Unfortunately, they don't know about anything, but both of them decide to look for Mio. Mio is seen wandering around the streets where she finds Yori looking for her. She goes to Hinode's place, who just got home but was ready to go out and look for Mio again. Mio goes out with Hinode in order to look for herself. <laughs> wow. Hinode keeps looking for her until night. He sits down on a bench with Miao in his lap, talking about how amazing she is. Then suddenly, Mio stops hearing his voice and realizes that she's actually turning into a real cat. In another scene, we see Mio arriving at school greeting Yori and Hinode. However, she doesn't use her sunrise attack on Hinode this time. Apparently, it's been three days since Mio got back, but it's not the real Mio. The real Mio is still Meow. Meow is watching everything from afar. What happened was that one day, when Mio was looking for the fatty, she saw the fake Mio running towards her house and eventually taking her place as the real Mio. Meow confronts the fake Mio when she's coming back from school and realizes that she's her stepmom's cat, Kinako. Mio tells Kinako that she wants to turn back into a human, so she wants her mask back. But Kinako refuses, saying she's very much attached to Mio's stepmom and would like to stay by her side for a long time. She's definitely looking down upon her own race here, as she tells Mio that cats don't get to live longer and she would like to live as Mio's stepmom's daughter now. Wow, what a twisted thought. However, Kinako does give her a hint of where to find the fatty and then store it away. Anyway, Mio manages to find the fatty. The fatty tells Mio that by the next summer festival, she'll turn into a real cat finally. The fatty then walks away on what looks like an invisible path. But Mio is able to see it and starts walking on it. She sees a huge tree and is shocked. She starts walking towards it. Meanwhile, Kinako is invited by Yori and Hinode to go to the summer festival, but she turns them down and wants to go with Mio's stepmom instead, naturally. But when she sees her depressed about Kinako not coming back home, Kinako gets upset. She then goes to Hinato's place, revealing herself to be Kinako, shocking Hinode. She reveals to Hinode that she doesn't want to live as Mio anymore. She takes Hinode to the secret cat island in order to find Mio. Inside the cat island, we get to see cats acting like humans, wearing yukatas and all. Mio is seen to look for the fatty, but no one seems to know him there. However, there's this peculiar cat who appears to know about Mio being a half-cat and all this information about human and cat masks. He leads her to the human cat bar, where Mio gets to see a bunch of other cats who used to be humans before. They tell Mio that she'd be stuck here forever if the fatty is able to take half of her lifespan. Meanwhile, Hinode and Kanako arrive inside the island. They go inside a strange place with a lot of masks hanging there. Kinako gives Hinode a mask who is finally able to see his surroundings, realizing that he has become a cat. However, only his hands look like a cat's now. He isn't transformed into an actual cat. The door behind them closes and the fatty's voice greets them. 
Meanwhile, Mio listens to the stories of those who have turned into cats permanently, and they tell Mio that she still can be saved. That's when the fatty appears there. He tells me that he has locked Hinode inside his shop. Oh, obviously, that place was the fatty's shop, considering the amount of masks that were hanging there. Mio refuses to believe that Hinode could come here to look for her, as he had no idea that she had turned into a cat. The fatty then reveals that Kinako brought him here. As the fatty tries to take Mio away, our super squad from the Cat Human Cafe beats the ish out of him. Mio runs away with another cat from the cafe. Meanwhile, Hinode and Kanako try to escape from the fatty's shop, but they can't break the door. Mio and the other cat arrive at the shop and let them out. Hinode is glad to see Mio in front of him. Kanako gives Mio her human mask, but when Mio wears that mask, she fails to become her human self. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, the fatty appears out of nowhere and takes Mio away with him. Apparently, there's going to be some ritual where he is going to turn Mio into a cat completely, and then there would be no turning back. Mio manages to escape and jumps down. The fatty, however, struggles to get her back. And now, there's a new threat. At this point, Hinode will also end up turning into a cat. Hinode manages to be reunited with Mio and tries to run away. Ding dong! It's fatty again! He takes both Hinode and Mio to the place of the ritual and starts dancing frantically. Hinode realizes something and attacks him. Mio also joins in, tormenting him. Suddenly, the lights above them shine brightly and the fatty reveals that the sacred tree has awakened. The fatty takes out Mio's lifespan, but Hinode pushes him, making the ball of her lifespan slip away from the fatty's hands. Hinode and Mio are not giving up. They keep attacking him, hurting themselves in the process. Then, suddenly, our super squad appears to help Hinode and Mio. They attack him and save both Hinode and Mio. Hinode gets Mio her lifespan back, and that's when he accepts Mio's love for him and confesses his love for her. Mio takes her mask and leaves with Hinode and Kinako. Hinode and Mio are back to being proper humans again, and their masks disappear. Kinako turns back into a cat, the cat island disappears from their sight, and both Hinode and Mio say I love you to each other. What a way to end a movie! Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching!